all, it's Team Traction here. It's been a bit of a while since I've done a sort of sit down talky video. The, the last channel update I really did uh, in this sort of style was way back on Christmas Day of 2017. A little update for the coming year. So I thought I'd do it again. Uh, it's now the 26th, so Boxing Day of December 2019. And we're going to do a little channel update for 2020. So, without further ado, you sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. So, where to begin? I think the most recent bit of news for the channel, uh, one of the biggest bits of news, is we have hit 200 subscribers. Very recently, in fact, just at the end of November, early December. I'd like to thank everyone who has subscribed. It's a really big uh, milestone. It's taken a bit of a while to get here from 100, I will say. The channel growth has been quite slow. I've been trying my best, uh, but hopefully it will only go up from there. Uh, so we just hope for the future. But yes, thank you ever so much. It's been a real um, big... It's like, it's like a Christmas present for me, really. An early Christmas present to hit 200. Um, so I'm, again, really eternally grateful. I've uh, got big things planned for 2020, we'll come on to that in a little while. But yes, thank you very much, that's the first thing. So the next thing, um, I'll show you it in a minute. Um, I'll take the camera out of the stand. You can obviously sort of tell I'm using a tripod for this. But the next sort of bit of news is we've got a lot more filming equipment um, for... Well, this coming year. Uh, Christmas 2019, I've got a lot of nice stuff. Um, the main thing, main thing, is a new camera. Uh, I've just upgraded from an iPhone 6. This is, this has been everywhere with me, filming everything for solid since 2017, I think. I think, it, yes, the first time I used this was recording the Southwold model exhibition uh, that was filmed in August 2017 yes that's right and then it went to Sheringham and been to everywhere else since good phone decent camera but it's really it's past its life expectancy I've had it for nearly three years now uh, it's a bit worse for wear the home button no longer works I think it's dead anyway yeah but the home button just didn't work. The mic switch in it is gone and it would have cost about 300 quid to re replace it. And I thought, why spend that much when I could get a new phone for that sort of money? Or recently, like a, sec a new second hand one. Uh, other problems, it kept crashing, uh, storage um, was a bit naff, uh, it kept just deleting things accidentally. And, uh, it, and the camera on it, um, it's only sort of 1080p, which is it's all right, it's HD, um, but this world's moving on a bit, so I wanted a little bit of an upgrade. So we're filming this now. This is the first video I'm filming on my Samsung S8. Moved over to Samsung, very happy with it. I'm not going to do a whole product review, really, but long and short, it's got a FHD setting, which is, I think, 4K. So expect some 4K videos. Um, I will still, there's still quite a lot of footage from this left to be uploaded, a lot of videos, uh, they will be uploaded at, towards the end of series 3. I will be doing some 4K videos this series as well, now I've got this, but series 4 it will be mostly 4K with a few from this left over. So th this will be the transitional period, just like um, series 1 it was transitioning from my iPhone 5 um, over to this one. This was a big upgrade from that because the iPhone 5 could only record 15 minutes of footage per time because it had 5 gig of storage. Even with everything deleted, I literally had to delete all of my apps apart from camera if I wanted to go on a filming trip. This has been quite similar. Um, this is 64 gig. That is 64 gig, but it has an SD card slot so I can have probably a 500 gig memory card in that, so that'll be good. So that's 
the main thing, the camera. What else? Uh, you may notice a little bit of light reflecting off my glasses. Um, I've got a new, um, same tripod, but a new top to the tripod. Um, it'll be, it's quite hard to explain, but I'll show you it in a minute. Um, it's basically in a rectangle, um, which the middle bit holds my phone. The top bit then has slots for uh, the first new thing, or second should I say, second new thing, which is a light, it's a little soft box, and it's really nice. It gives some good lighting, something that I've really neglected in my videos is lighting. It's just been what I can get. Now I've got a Pacific light, which illuminates it a bit more, it's a lot better. The third thing, I hope you notice a bit of a difference, is sound. Um, so far it's all been recorded with my, uh, with just the iPhones and, you know, sound, like the microphone inside the iPhone, which is good, don't get me wrong. But when you're going along on a moving train, as you will hear in some of my videos, uh, particular ones spring to mind are the North Norfolk Railway videos, because uh, it's very windy up in Sheringham, uh, you just hear, um, <sighs> camera all the time I have to do a lot of jiggly pokery with the sound levels to try and minimize it but it's really hard because then if you make it too quiet you don't hear the noise of the steam engines which is what you want to hear but you don't want to hear the wind but now hopefully it's going to be a lot better I haven't tested it yet because I haven't been anywhere to test it, it literally I got this all yesterday uh, I have a new mic um, which is a Rode video microphone plugs in to my phone and it's got a fur cover on it so hopefully that should eliminate a lot of the wind so if you do notice the upgrade in sound and upgrade in lighting that's why um if we go and you also notice a video quality upgrade like it looks more crisp and detailed you'll know it's been filmed on the new samsung i will also say if it's the new one so to have all the new equipment be better lighting better sound and better video quality all round better so that is a really big plus for the end of Series 3 and Series 4. What next? So, the plans for 2020 and beyond. There's some big announcements here. First off, I'll give a brief outline of some trips I'm planning to do. Um, there's a few that I'll reveal a bit more later. So the ones I'll say now is I'm going to definitely do a return to the BVR. Uh, the Beer Valley, where I started it all, should be the series premiere of Series 4, if everything goes well. This is because they're holding their 30th anniversary gala, and they've got some special locos announced. I'm not going to say what, because it's just been posted on a supporters group at the moment. It hasn't been made fully public, so I'm not going to say, because I don't want to get into trouble. All I can say is the special guests, it's going to be a really big event, it's their 30th anniversary, what do you expect? And I'm definitely going to go and film that. The next one, uh, again it's been posted on a sort of Facebook supporters group, so I don't know it's fully public, so I'm not going to say. But the, the Mid-Norfolk Railway, I should be posting a video of the Mid-Norfolk, this, uh, this series, it should be quite soon actually, I'm going to try and push it through. Um, it, all the stuff there just needs to be edited. Um, that uh, That's for Series 3, but I'm also going to go again uh, next year in September time, or autumn it specifies. No further details of the gala have been announced. It's the Autumnstein Gala, by the way. And there is a very, very special visitor. If I can get tickets, I'm going. Again, I'm not saying what, because I don't know if it's been publicly announced. I'll, when it's been publicly announced, I will put it in the description um, and I'll also say again in another video. Um, but yeah, uh, to, well, the Mid Norfolk is very, very exciting because um, it will be, well, I'm not, not going to say too much because people can then guess, but it's basically going to be pretty much a first, is what I'm going to say, for this loco in this area. That's all I'm going to say. And for the um, BVR, it's also a very special event. I'm not, again, I'm not going to say anything else because I don't want to get into trouble. 
Um, so yeah, they're the two main things, sort of rail related, that I'm going. Because obviously there's going to be other plans, uh, I can do other things. And this is what I'll get on to now. The next big bit of news. I'm alright to announce this, because it's me. Um, it's This is the first time I'm saying this publicly. Uh, I'll announce it everywhere else. But for those who know New Build Steam, basically it's new building locos in the UK. They do have some in America and elsewhere in the world, but the main thing is a UK. So it's basically building a new steam engine from scratch that has been scrapped. All the class members have been scrapped. Now, most people will know Tornado, um, the first mainline new build to be completed, 2008. Some of you will know Lady of Legend, um, which has been the second new build complete, 2019, that's steamed. And there's about 18 others in the works, so there's a lot. So quite a few are coming to completion, quite near. Betton Grange um, is very close, uh, should be steamed 2020. So should the Unknown Warrior, which is the LMS Patriot. That'll be 2020, hopefully. Fingers crossed for a November 2020 date. And then the uh, and then Prince of Wales in June 2021. There are several others as well, but they're the big ones. So the news about it, uh, there's a website uh, called New Build Steam, which documents it. It's like a blog site, and it sort of updates people on all of the news, how they're getting on building them. The author of that website decided to discontinue it at the end of this year and it was going to shut down completely. This has upset a lot of people and long story short, I got in talking with the editor of the site and I, myself, am going to be taking over New Build Steam. January the 1st is the scheduled date for it to all kick off. So it's a big thing. I, I, I myself, I'm going to be writing all the blog posts. This is alongside my YouTube channel. YouTube channel's not going to stop. And also, I'm going to be uploading, hopefully, um, this won't be instantly, but I'm going to be uploading news updates to this YouTube channel to link to then to my blog. So, this is a big thing. Big task, big responsibility. It's daunting, but I'm looking forward to it because it's also bringing forward a lot of opportunities. I'm not going to say anything too specific here because, again, it may not happen. It may just um, fall through. But this is the thing. With this um, with this new arrangement comes a lot more opportunities. A lot of the, well, I wouldn't say a lot. I've got in contact with most of the new build groups. They're all quite supportive of this. And some of them, I'm not going to name, but some of them have invited me to come to their workshops. So this is big, so that I, I'm going to travel with me, a couple of my film crew, and we're going to go to the workshops and you know, film the locos under construction, um, have interviews with um, the people who run it, and basically just a lot more things like that. So that is some really, really good stuff. Um, very much looking forward to this. If this... I can pull this off um, and I can get to a couple of these places. They are called quite far from me because, as you know, I'm based in East Anglia. So it's quite far to go to some of them. They're, most of them are in the Midlands. So it's a bit of a trip for me. But if I can pull this off, this will be great for the channel. Um, get a tour around some of the workshops where they're building these locos. So fingers crossed we can do this. And then one other thing. Uh, one other filming trip that's been confirmed that I'm doing. Uh, no date set for it, but in early months of 2020, January, February time, I am going to be heading up to North Norfolk again uh, with this new setup. So this will be probably the first proper steam air, uh, railway I test all this on. And I'm going to be filming a new fact file. Um, as people know, Series 1, Episode 2 was my first fact file video and my only one. Uh, because, well, yes, the video itself performed well. It's got quite a lot of views, in terms of my channel anyway. A few hundred is a lot for me. Uh, it was a terrible review. Um, because I had to use footage from someone else, which I never really like doing, unless I have to. Um, 
because I couldn't go and film. Uh, this is of the Great Eastern Y14, by the way. I couldn't go and film it, so I had to use some, someone else's footage. Uh, I did get permission. Um, and then I just dubbed my voice over it. The trouble is, I was very new at the time, and I just got iMovie, which I still edit on. I edit on this now, but it was on my phone at the time, on this phone. Um, and I was terrible. And if you just go and watch it, I'll put a little clip in uh, now. If you just go and watch it, um, the, 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 the audio is oh, it's horrible. Um, because I didn't know that you could lower the volume of a clip, so I raised the volume of my voice. And it sounds a bit like this. They started their life in 1883, working for the Great Eastern Railway. All the way through the video. Uh, so, I desperately want to redo it. If it didn't have so many views, I would take it down. And I'm not pleased with it at all. Um, but I really want to redo it and do this engine justice. So, I booked a cab ride. Um, we're going to get people going line side and a shed tour. All for this fact file. So, it should be a lot better. All we're waiting on, the engine in question, the Y14, it's currently on a winter holiday at the Spa Valley Railway to help them with their Santa specials. As soon as it comes back, I'm going to organise a date and go up there. I'm going to film the Y14 properly this time. Right, so those are some planned filming trips and just, uh, as I say, there's some general things. Some more Christmas presents now. I told you about, obviously, the camera stuff. There's some more. Um, so, as you know, I do enjoy the model side of railways, but never really have the money for it, which is a shame, obviously. Um, but this year, uh, I wanted to get some locos, some more locos to review. I said, I've already done the Q1 on the channel. So, not only have I got one loco, I've got two. First, London Northeastern J15. This is the predecessor to the Y, well, sorry, successor, should I say, to the Y14. The Y14 came first. They were then converted into J15s. Um, there's a few little modifications. Uh, they have a different chimney, different roof, um, a couple of other safety valves, um, so a different smoke box door. So a few little things they were, uh, they were minorly, minorly modified by the London Northeastern. I brought this model purely because it has the low cab roof tooling. You see here, um, all of the other J15 models, they have a high roof. I brought, specifically brought one with a low roof for a very special reason. So if we have a look, here is the model. Absolute beauty. Um, <laughs> there's not much I can say um, without going into too much detail, but it is an absolutely gorgeous model. Let me sit here to get a good view of it. Um, it's hard to do it without. Let's see if you can see the wheels as well. It's absolutely gorgeous model. Um, it is. You can see, there's the low roof. Um, I don't know what to say. I honestly don't. It's just stunner. Won't be done an amazing job. Um, and I can't decide whether this is my favourite or my other one. And I'll show you the other one. Uh, so yes, this is as I say the same type that's on the Y14. Oh, sorry, it's on the North Norfolk. It's the same type as the Y14, basically. A few minor modifications. Um, but I brought this because and I. I, think, I don't know if I said this before on camera, but I'm saying it now. I want to produce a model of the North Norfolk Railway. Um, so that's why I got that J15. And I'll tell you more about what I plan to do with that model later, not on this video. The other model, this is why I say I'm struggling to decide which is which is better. It's this. London North Eastern Railway B12-3. Absolute stunner. Um, this one, oh, here it is. Very careful. 
isn't she gorgeous? She's absolutely amazing. 460. And there's a lot of die cast. Now, something that really shocked me is the entire boiler on this is die cast. For an engine, um, the boiler on the J15 is die cast as well. Um, but for an engine that size, the J15 is tiny. You kind of expect it to be die cast to give it the weight. But for a 460, yes, it is a relatively small 460 in, compared to other ones. But still, it would be perfectly acceptable to Hornby to just put a plastic, um, plastic boiler on it but they've done full die cast and it gives it so much weight and it's gorgeous the level of detail and uh, so look view it from this side it'll, it'll Westing has pump all the lining it's stunning especially with my new light you can really capture the detail so this is one struggling to decide which is the better model um I can't decide and obviously that will be the main centerpiece of my um North Norfolk model because they've got the B12 they both, uh, well, the B12 needs remembering. But yeah, and that will join my N2. I've got a model of the N2. I'm not sure if I've ever shown that on camera. But it's an old mainline one, so it's not very... It's reasonable. Um, the motor's basically given up the ghost, so I need a replacement chassis for it. But that will join them, and I've now got a trio of North Norfolk engines. So, yeah. Those are the main, those are just, these are some of the main Christmas presents. Really good haul this Christmas. B12 cost 100 quid, um, well, 110 to be exact. But the RRP is, RRP is about 160, so still good deal. The J15's RRP is about 100, 130, um, which is quite a lot for an engine this size. I managed to get it for 30 quid. Um, I did do a bit of part exchanging, um, some of my old stuff. Uh, but yeah, I mean, even without the part, without the part exchanging, it was worth seventy. But seventy even, but for a logo like that, it's really good. I think the value for money points go for that one. Anyway, I'm getting too much into review mode. Uh, we'll have to save it. The full reviews for both of these will be coming very soon. So I think I've done quite a bit of rambling. Um, I think I've covered most of what I wanted to cover. Uh, thank you for the 200 subscribers, uh, a little bit of planning what's going to happen in series 3, series 4, a bit about my new equipment, about my new locos, yeah, um, all in all, it's been really good, um, no promises, I'm going to try and get a video out New Year's, um, I want to get something new for the channel as well, it won't be a regular thing, uh, but I'm going to stretch the team traction a little bit further, Go for a completely new form of traction. You can kind of call it traction, um, but it's more uh, motors. Uh, it's cars. Basically, I went to well, I go every year. I went to Foxhall Banger Stadium um, in Ips, just outside of Ipswich, and they have they have banger racing and fireworks every every November. And uh, while I couldn't edit it and get it up the same night. Because <laughs> it was like eleven o'clock, so I didn't want to release a fireworks video, but you know, mid December, I thought, why not wait till New Year's Eve and release a fireworks video? This is more fitting. I know it's technically wrong. I just thought it'd be nice to upload it then. So if I can do it, I will get it out as well as this one. So I edit this one now. I've got to do. Uh, I've got. To, uh, hopefully, I can edit that one. Uh, and I've also, for all this, got to finish off this new build website, like the new, because I can't continue the existing website, I've got to build my own new, new build Steam website, which is now, I forgot to say, it's now being rebranded New Build UK. So we're going to be covering new build diesels and narrow gauge stuff later in the year, I'm not going to do that from launch. Um, so that's why it can't be called just New Build Steam anymore. Uh, this is something the author decided not to cover with his, but I am deciding to cover it. So, that's that. Um, yeah, I've pretty much said everything. New Build UK. Um, I was, yeah, I, I'd say I don't think there's much else to say, except thank you, again, from the bottom of my heart. Uh, thank you for continuing to support me on my YouTube journey. Uh, I've still got a lot of series three to come. We'll be finishing roughly June, July time as we normally do. And then starting again in September for series four. 
and that'll be good. I'm really looking forward to Series 4. I've uh, got some, let's say, big things planned this year. Uh, we're looking at maybe even going to an, another big preserved railway. That's all up in the air, but we don't know yet. So keep an eye out. I'll keep you updated on my social media, as I normally do. Um, if you want some extra content, like I say, by the way, just go and follow me on social medias. I've got Discord, uh, which I'm quite active on. So if you ever have any questions, you want to contact me, uh, direct message me on Discord. I'm mostly active most days. Um, and I've also got an official Discord channel um, where I post sneak peeks, announcements, updates, things like that. Um, so I think what else? Uh, Discord, if you want, you can follow me on Twitter. Um, I don't post too many things on there, but I still ret retweet a few things um, and post a few comments to other things. Uh, Facebook. I'm on there, but I'm not very active. Um, just think what else. Steam. Uh, I'm not very active on there, but I will try and get active on there. Try and do some gaming videos, some more Let's Play. I did do a little mini London Underground video, and that took took very well. So I may do a tour of my little London project that I've been working on. We'll see. Um, what else other social medias? Um, Instagram is a good one if you want to uh, look at some of the pictures. Uh, after a day's filming, I sometimes post the best pictures on there. So if you want to wait for the whole video, I've got some good pictures on there. I love messing around in photo editors and uh, just tweaking things and making them look pretty. Uh, so I, and I'll try and post a few more pictures on there in the new year. Um, and then also, last thing I will say is I will try... Christ, it's got dark. <laughs> I started filming this when it was still daylight. and I must have been rambling. It's now pitch, nearly, nearly pitch black. Um, last thing I will say is I am going to take this out in the new year, this filming setup, before I go to Sheringham and do the proper first Steam video with it. I'm going to be taking this just down a local station, Stow Market, and uh, doing just an exclusive video, tweaking this new setup. Um, I'm going to be filming daytime into evening to test the new lights and see how that goes. So, without further ado, again, last time I say it, thank you very much. Thank you for watching this video. Stay tuned for 2020. Hopefully we'll be better than last year. Um, and yeah, see you all in the future. Bye for now.